चैप्टर नाइन द अमेजिंग वर्ल्ड ऑफ सोल्यूट्स सॉल्वेंट्स एंड सोल्यूशंस क्वेश्चन आंसर्स फ्रॉम ग्रेड एट सब्जेक्ट साइंस बुक क्यूरियोसिटी प्रोब एंड पॉन्डर क्वेश्चन वन वट डू यू थिंक इज हैपनिंग इन द पिक्चर अब फ्रेंड्स दिस इज अ पिक्चर ऑफ डांडी मार्च यू कैन सी गांधी जी मेकिंग सॉल्ट फ्रॉम सी वॉटर वी नो सी वॉटर इज सॉल्टी सो सॉल्ट इज द सोल्यूट इन द सी वॉटर वेन वॉटर गेट्स एवोपोरेटेड देन सोल्यूट रिमेन्स विच इज सॉल्ट विच यू कैन सी इन वाइट कलर क्वेश्चन टू वट हैपन्स वेन यू एड टू मच शुगर टू योर टी एंड इट स्टॉप्स डिजॉल्विंग हाउ कैन यू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम आंसर वेन शुगर स्टॉप्स डिजॉल्विंग इट मीन्स द सोल्यूशन हैज बिकम सेचुरेटेड द वॉटर सॉल्वेंट कैन नॉट होल्ड मोर शुगर सोल्यूट एट डेट टेम्परेचर to solve the problem stirring and heating the tea increases solubility so more sugar can dissolve question 3 why do sugar and salt dissolve in water but not in oil why is water considered a good solvent answer sugar and salt are made of polar particles that interact well with polar water molecules so they dissolve oil is non polar so it does not interact with sugar or salt particles and they do not dissolve water is called a universal solvent because it dissolves a large number of substances more than most other liquids question 4 why are water bottles usually tall and cylindrical in shape instead of spherical answer a tall cylindrical bottle is easier to carry hold and store cylinders occupy less space and fit well in bags shelves or refrigerators spherical bottles would waste space and be unstable also cylindrical bottles have uniform wall thickness and can withstand pressure better next keep the curiosity alive question 1 state whether the statements given below are true t or false f correct the false statements answer oxygen gas is more soluble in hot water rather than in cold water so friends this is false correction gases are more soluble in cold water solubility of gases decreases as temperature rises second a mixture of sand and water is a solution so friends this is false correction sand plus water is a non uniform mixture suspension not a solution because sand does not dissolve and can be seen separated third the amount of space occupied by any object is called its mass so friends this is false correction the amount of space occupied is volume mass is the amount of matter in the object fourth an unsaturated solution has more solute dissolved than a saturated solution so friends this is false correction an unsaturated solution can dissolve more solute a saturated solution already contains the maximum solute it can at that temperature fifth the mixture of different gases in the atmosphere is also a solution so friends this is true air is a homogeneous mixture a gaseous solution with nitrogen as the major component question 2 fill in the blanks first the volume of a solid can be measured by the method of displacement where the solid is immersed in water and the rise in water level is measured second the maximum amount of solute dissolved in solvent at a particular temperature is called solubility at that temperature third generally the density decreases with increase in temperature fourth the solution in which glucose has completely dissolved in water and no more glucose can dissolve at a given temperature is called a saturated solution of glucose question 3 you pour oil into a glass containing some water the oil floats on top what does this tell you answer second water is denser than oil because the oil is less dense than water it floats on the surface Question four: A stone sculpture weighs two twenty-five gram and has a volume of ninety centimeter cube. 
कैलकुलेट इट्स डेंसिटी एंड प्रिडिक्ट वेदर इट विल फ्लोट और सिंक इन वॉटर आंसर गिवन मास इज इक्वल्स टू टू ट्वेंटी फाइव ग्राम वॉल्यूम इज इक्वल्स टू नाइनटी सेंटीमीटर क्यूब वी नो डेंसिटी इज इक्वल्स टू मास डिवाइडेड बाय वॉल्यूम सो टू ट्वेंटी फाइव डिवाइडेड बाय नाइनटी इज इक्वल्स टू टू पॉइंट फाइव ग्राम पर सेंटीमीटर क्यूब वॉटर्स डेंसिटी अप्रोक्सीमेटली वन ग्राम पर सेंटीमीटर क्यूब सो द स्टोन टू पॉइंट फाइव ग्राम पर सेंटीमीटर क्यूब इज डेंसर देन वॉटर इट विल सिंक क्वेश्चन फाइव विच वन ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज द मोस्ट अप्रोप्रिएट स्टेटमेंट एंड वाई आर द अदर स्टेटमेंट नॉट अप्रोप्रिएट करेक्ट आंसर थर्ड नो मोर सोल्यूट कैन बी डिजोल्व इन टू द सेचुरेटेड सोल्यूशन एट डेट टेम्परेचर वाई द अदर्स आर रॉन्ग फर्स्ट इज रॉन्ग बाई डेफिनेशन अ सेचुरेटेड सोल्यूशन कैन नॉट डिजोल्व मोर सोल्यूट एट डेट टेम्परेचर सेकेंड इज रॉन्ग an unsaturated solution has not yet reached the maximum it can still dissolve more fourth is wrong saturation depends on concentration and temperature a saturated solution can form at any temperature not only high temperatures though solubility often changes with temperature question 6 you have a bottle with a volume of 2 liters you pour 500 ml of water into it How much more water can the bottle hold? Answer: Total bottle capacity, two liters, is equals to two thousand ml. Water already poured, five hundred ml. So remaining capacity is equals to two thousand minus five hundred is equals to fifteen hundred ml. That is one point five liters. So answer: The bottle can hold fifteen hundred ml more water. Question seven. An object has a mass of 400 gram and a volume of 40 cm cube. What is its density? So, friends, we know density is equals to mass divided by volume. So, mass is 400. So, 400 divided by 40, which is volume, is equals to 10 gram per cm cube. So, the density of the object is 10 gram per cm cube. Question eight. Analyze figure nine point two five a this one and nine point two five b this one. Why does the unpeeled orange float while the peeled one sinks? Explain. This is the unpeeled orange and this is the peeled one. Answer: The unpeeled orange has a porous peel with air pockets, which lowers its overall density compared to water. It floats. When the peel is removed, the orange becomes denser than water, so it sinks. The peel acts like a natural life jacket, reducing density and making the orange float. Question nine: Object A has a mass of two hundred gram and a volume of forty centimeter cube. Object B has a mass of two forty gram and a volume of sixty centimeter cube. Which object is denser? So density of object A. 200 divided by 40 because density is equals to mass divided by volume so we get 5 gram per cm cube density of object b 240 divided by 60 is equals to 4 gram per cm cube so object a is denser 5 gram per cm cube is greater than 4 gram per cm cube question 10 rima has a piece of modeling clay that weighs 120 gram She first molds it into a compact cube that has a volume of 60 cm cube. Later, she flattens it into a thin sheet. Predict what will happen to its density. Answer: Given mass is equals to 120 g, volume is equals to 60 cm cube when compact. Density is equals to mass divided by volume. So 120 divided by 60 is equals to 2 g per cm cube. When the clay is flattened into a thin sheet, mass remains the same, 120 gram. Volume also remains the same, 60 centimeter cube. Since density is equal to mass divided by volume, density will remain unchanged. The density of the clay remains 2 gram per centimeter cube, regardless of its shape. Question 11: A block of iron has a mass of 600 gram and a density of 7.9 gram per centimeter cube. What is its volume? Answer: Given mass is equals to 600 gram, density is equals to 7.9 gram per centimeter cube. 
formula volume is equals to mass divided by density so volume is equals to 600 divided by 7.9 is equals to 75.95 centimeter cube approximately 76 centimeter cube the volume of the iron block is about 76 centimeter cube question 12 you are provided with an experimental setup as shown in figure 9.26a this one and 9.26b this one on keeping the test tube figure 9.26b in a beaker containing hot water approximately 70 degree celsius the water level in the glass tube rises how does it affect the density so friends as you can see this is the beaker containing hot water this is test tube and this is water level when the test tube is placed in hot water approximately 70 degrees celsius the air inside expands expansion increases the volume of air but its mass remains constant since density is equals to mass divided by volume an increase in volume causes density to decrease heating decreases the density of air inside the test tube which makes the water level in the glass tube rise. So friends, we have completed question answers of chapter 9, the amazing world of solutes, solvents and solutions. We have already studied the notes and summary of this chapter. You can find the link in the description and on the screen. If you like the video, kindly like, hype the video and share it with your friends. Also subscribe to my channel for more such videos. We will meet in the next video. Thank you for watching.